where we meet our partners. And of course, this. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to take a few seconds and soak all of this in. It's been a long time and a very long wait for all, us, all of us to be able to actually just do this. And uh, there are a lot of people to thank, but uh, one of the things that we must remember is people in Fiji are very good at collaborating. And what you witness here today is a collaboration of government, the private sector, and the people of Fiji. And I think we owe a huge round of applause before we even commence to all our citizens and everybody who's taken part uh, in the actual uh, getting us here today so we are able to do this. <clears throat> to the President of the Republic of Fiji, His Excellency, Atu Williame Katunivere, Namomo Natwinandi, Tourism Fiji Board Chair, Andre Villain and Directors, CEO, Tourism Fiji, Brent Hill, industry partners from Fiji and abroad, invited media, ladies and gentlemen, Bulavinaka. Ladies and gentlemen, this marks our eighth year of the Fijian Tourism Expo. I think that's about as long as I've been Minister for Tourism. And the eighth year of welcoming our trade partners back to Fiji. As most of you know, the last FTE we held was done virtually in 2020. And for those that actually joined us, you'll remember that I spoke about how Fiji had gone over 200 days since our last COVID-19 case in the community. And we can agree, I'm sure, that experiencing Fiji firsthand is a whole lot better. Although our international flights has actually stopped through our innovative blue lanes and swift adaptable frameworks, we were actually able to welcome yachts and other specialized groups such as film crew and higher end tourists. We actually re-energized our domestic tourism and reacquainted thousands of locals to what Fiji is renowned for, for world-class resorts and attractions. You saw it all, ladies and gentlemen, we actually share this with the rest of the world, and I think we really uh, were waiting for so long, and we really want to share that again with the rest of the world. During this time, ladies and gentlemen, we were actually guided by robust policies that led to our border reopening. Our out-of-work tourism workers were amongst those supported by half a billion in direct and indirect assistance that was paid by the Fijian government. The tourism industry was cushioned by locals holidaying at home, the most popular time being civil service payday. And our economy began slowly recovering as we seized new opportunities. Today, we have a lot to be thankful for, and we must pay special tribute to first the Fijian tourism industry and our people who are our biggest draw card, and second, to our guests, who I'm sure have come with actual renewed enthusiasm to take Fiji to the world. Welcome home to Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, through the course of the pandemic, as the science and the data evolved, so did our policies. We recognized early on that shutting ourselves off from the rest of the world would be a short-term measure at best. The Fijian government, along with the tourism industry, made sure that we moved quickly and safely to open. This actually propelled us into a position from where we could gradually ease entry conditions, guided by strengthened community-wide surveillance efforts. We established the Care Fiji Commitment Program that assures anyone to Fiji that they were protected beyond our high vaccination levels. We have actually steadily rolled back the restrictions in step with the world to make travel to Fiji easier. So as the Minister for Tourism, 
It's a pleasure to welcome you all back to Experience Fiji. Since reopening our borders in 20, December 2021, we've seen a steady and, and healthy growth in visitor numbers from Australia and the United States, and most recently from New Zealand, the vast majority of which have flown to Fiji and are proudly on national carrier Fiji Airways. I understand that last month Fiji averaged occupancy that often exceeded our 2019 peak across 30 key hotels, and our average daily room rate and revenue per available room matched the 2019 pre-pandemic figures. So very good signs as we continue to build back. Ladies and gentlemen, as we see our economy recovering, our focus will continue to remain on growing the value of the industry and propagating its benefits across the entire tourism ecosystem. We took the last two years also as an opportunity to reinvest, as you can see, from upgrading our tourism facilities and renowned hospitality to piloting new products. In fact, right here, the Sheraton Fiji Golf and Beach Resort is actually one of them. Tourism Fiji has already led eight familiarization trips this year, seven prior to the expo and one directly after. If you are on one of these, I hope you experienced our warm hospitality for yourselves. Over the next two days, ladies and gentlemen, Tourism Fiji's strategic priorities for the next two years, you'll learn about and you'll learn of our focus to grow the industry in a much greener and bluer way, including how we've set ourselves some ambitious targets that put us on course to sustainable recovery. A key part of this is actually setting the Fijian industry on a new, more equitable footing. The Fijian government through the Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Tourism, Transport has now embarked on a renewed sectoral plan in this particular regard. We have about 91 international buyers and trade media from across 10 countries. And I think that's a hugely positive sign for us. I look forward to meeting the sellers here as well as our exhibitors who will show you that not only are we recovering, we're focused on coming back with a brand new product that puts Fiji in a league of its own. It actually cements it as a destination of choice for tourists from around the globe. Our focus, ladies and gentlemen, has, and will always will be, high value, low impact tourism that actually generates more positive impact in our communities and in the Fijian economy. What we want is for our visitors to come and experience our country's beautiful natural assets and to leave with a better understanding of how integral they are to our people. Ladies and gentlemen, you are our trade partners. You are best placed to carry this vision to the world as you actually promote Fiji. We hope that over the next two days you are able to truly Immerse yourselves in the incomparable magic our island nation has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with those few words because I really feel like a little kid being left alone in a new toy shop. <laughs> Welcome back. And with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a great 2022 Fijian Tourism Expo. And I know you're all dying to hear from our president, His Excellency. Now, well, thank you.